Like we was, uh, uh. I was like, oh, I'm trash. That still backfires. The brain ain't even fully developed until 25, y'all. Y'all, is it an anime club? If people hated me for it, don't do it, okay? When literally my senior year, I did not do anything. And I loved it. <laughs> And what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tatiana Edgeworth and we're back with another freaking video. But before we go ahead and get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to your girl's channel. <laughs> Did you guys do it? Yay! I literally get super excited seeing more of you guys. Don't forget that all my social media handles and all of that good stuff that we talk about will be linked down below. And we're just gonna go ahead and get straight into it. If you guys can't tell from the title of this video, we're doing something a little different. I am targeting my high school students or people who are just honestly going into a new grade and having some changes in our life. And I just wanna be the big sister, give you some tips, you know, some things that I wish I knew, some things that were actually passed down to me and something that I've learned as well. And I just wanna help you out through the process of high school. We think that it's our whole lives, but honestly it's not, but it definitely is a very rememberable time. So that being said, I wanna go ahead and just congratulate everyone who that decided to be smart past your classes. And I know it's super exciting getting into a new grade, seeing your new teachers, being in a new classroom, and just having a complete different environment overall. So this video is here to actually help you through all the good times and the bad times when it comes to being in high school. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with our first tip. Okay, so tip number one is your first day. Now, I know this may be a little cliche or anything, but honestly, your outfit matters. Like, I don't wanna bring in fashion, like the first thing to say, but <laughs> everybody knows the excitement, the first day of school, like laying your clothes out and everything, and literally just making your outfit look so good and so cute, and everybody's gonna see it, right? So that being said, if you can get a brand new fresh outfit from your parents and just set it out the night before because honestly the first day is when everybody's looking like everybody's judging everybody's looking trying to see like okay who got the fashion who's stepping out who got the new stuff who got the old stuff now granted if you were not able to get a new outfit just come up with something different something that's gonna pop you know what i'm saying you just gotta make it work whatever you got baby and then i know some people who are in actual sports they make you wear your uniform so just sport that out make sure you know you're cute get your little accessories and everything like that i I personally love the first day of school because I get to see who's there. Who am I gonna be in class with? Just kind of scope out the teacher. Am I gonna have a good teacher, a nice teacher? She gonna be mean, he gonna be nice, like whatever the situation may be. And then just kind of know the flow. Like the first day is like just a get to know. Honestly, the first day is the best because you don't have to do any work either. Like you don't have to do work. You just there just to learn about what's gonna be going on and just chill and everybody usually gets out early or they just have fun in the classroom. So honestly, enjoy that first day because it's gonna be the best day. The best days are like the first day and then the last day. Okay, so for our next tip, we're gonna go ahead and talk about how to not be bored. I understand that some people are bored when they're in high school, but I, I really never understood why. There's so many different things that you can do when it comes to being in high school. It's more of like you being involved. I, if you're the type of person who's super like to themselves and don't want to involve in being in like, you know, teenager things and like partying, finding the people to talk to, making new friends, getting into sports and activities and stuff, it's gonna be actually harder for you to enjoy high school unless you're like super deep in into academics, but if you're deep into academics, there's clubs for that too, you know what I mean? So just find something that you are literally interested in, find a sport that you always wanted to try. Like this is a time where our parents told us no all these years and now we're in high school and we get to do all of that stuff. Like I literally remember my mother telling me, oh yeah, you can't go to any football games. You can't go to no high school football games. What do you look like? You're not in high school, remind you. I was like in eighth grade, like seventh, eighth grade. My mom would not let me go to any freaking games, but literally, when I got into high school, I literally signed up for everything. Like I was like, yeah, I'm going here. I'm not, I was never home y'all. I was never home and I loved it because I was a very shadowed, is that the word I'm looking for? A very sheltered kid growing up. My mom did not let me be outside a lot. Like she just was coddling me. So when I hit high school, y'all, I was like, yeah, I'm signing up for cheer. I signed up for wrestling. I signed up for so many different things. It's like literally insane. Like all of the sports that I got into, <laughs> like I got into different clubs. Now the different clubs, I went into like a dance club. I was in a Filipino club, I was in a Mexican club, I was in a black culture club, I was in a singing club. And when I say I was in everything that I can get my hands on, I even try to join golf. Y'all, what does it look like a, a freaking high schooler being in golf? Me, y'all, I was just joining whatever. I actually tried swimming, but I was swimming backwards on accident. So yeah, that just didn't really work out for me. But there's a lot of things. I was in track and field. There is a lot of different things in high school. Like this is a time for you to have fun, join brand new activities and just do whatever you wanna do. Like this is a time, this is your freedom. Be smart, but have fun. Also, 
one other thing I want to say, if you are the type of person who does not like in school activities, there are options for you to do outside activities. So if you're the type of person like, okay, cool, like me, I wanted to do cheer, but I was kind of like tired of the cheer squad or whatever situation, situation may be. So I was like, you know what, let me do competitive cheer. So that's the thing too. Also, you can get a job. I mean, if you're, it's a little too early. If you're like, you know, maybe as freshman or sophomore, I would definitely wait because don't rush into working unless you are literally financially struggling. Do not rush into working, trust me, because it will be there forever, literally. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna go ahead and talk about is skipping class. And the reason why I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys this tip, I know it may sound crazy, is this is the tip that was actually given to me my freshman year, and it's literally do not mess up your freshman or sophomore year. We all love to skip class here and there. I'm not trying to be a bad influence, but sometimes we do it. You know, just like not wanting to be there, wanna have fun, going to the second lunch or the first lunch, like you just wanna be involved. But your first two years, try your hardest to really be involved in your academics and make sure that you're doing really well in school because if you do really well your first two years I'm telling you your junior year especially your senior year you're not going to be doing anything there are people who mess up their freshman year and they paid for it all four years because they were stuck in summer classes they were stuck doing extracurriculars they were stuck doing you know extra classes at the end of you know school like they were stuck doing all of that stuff but literally if you were just pay attention to school at least the first two years now third year is going to be a little uh you know what I'm saying? Just make sure you smooth by third year. But your fourth year is going to be really easy, honestly, because you have credits. Like, it's not hard to get your credits just to pass your class. Like, you just got to pass your classes. Yeah, I graduated with, I don't even know how many credits. It was so many credits I graduated over. When literally my senior year, I did not do anything. My senior year, I did not do anything. Like, I'm not even being dramatic. Like, when I say, like, I had, I was a teacher's assistant. Yeah, I was chilling. Like, I, when I say I would literally show up to class, like, my first class, I didn't have first class one. Then the second class maybe will be a TA or whatever. Like, and then I had like an extra class or it didn't really matter. So I swear, like I would show up to school probably around noon. Like I would show up right before lunchtime and it was chill. Like nobody cared. My teachers, my teacher didn't care because I mean, I was just there, just be there as long as I was doing the work and helping out and stuff like that as a teacher assistant, like they didn't really care either. So obviously it depends on your school, but just be really smart and make sure you keep your head on tight for the first two years for sure. Make sure you do not fail any classes those first two years because it could kind of determine how your third and fourth year goes and when I say it will be totally worth it for you to just be cruising that last year because when college hits or when life's hit you gonna definitely regret it so yeah do me a favor and this is it's a tip that was given to me. I followed the tip. I didn't ask any extra questions, but okay. And when I say I seen it with my own eyes, people who messed up their freshman year definitely suffered. The people who just moved through the first two years, it was very easy to just finish the last two. So the next thing I wanna go ahead and talk about is understand your peers. When it comes to having your peers, sometimes you can have bad influence or a good influence. Sometimes you can just feel peer pressure in doing something, certain things. So just understand like your peers matter. This is who's gonna create, who you are like you're developing like you're very young you know what i'm saying like so be careful if you're hanging out with the girls who are a little bit more fast or you know people who are mentally slow when it comes to academics like you just want to be careful of like who you're surrounding yourself with because you are who you surround yourself around even as a grown adult like this is the same thing like you could take this tip with you anywhere like be careful who you surround yourself around because you literally are who you surround yourself around so take a look and if it's not what you want to be or where you want to be don't do it okay which kind of brings me a little into my next step i know that's kind of quick but it kind of just like migrates into the next one the next one is to choose your friends wisely i want you guys to know like everybody does not mean well not everybody is positive not everybody's gonna be looking out for your back okay P if people are doing things that you do not condone to that you do not like don't try to be friends with them like if if it's something that you're not really messing with like no don't be friends with i'm telling you right now in high school i wanted to be friends with everybody if people hated me for it i was a very well-known person in high school but when I say there were some haters because they were like oh I don't like Tatiana because she wants to be friends with everybody I don't like how she wants to be like they're always find some reason to not like you so make sure you're not trying to be liked by everybody it's okay you're gonna have someone who doesn't like you it goes like that all the time in school and outside of school but just know when it comes to making friends be careful who you're around like it's gonna be a lot of lessons learned just take them lightly it's part of the process it's okay you may lose some friendships there may be 
some bullies too. Like honestly, learn how to, you know what I'm saying? Learn how to talk back. Learn how to talk back, learn how to defend yourself. You just wanna make sure that you are surrounding yourself around positive people or people that you wanna be around. So if you wanna be in sports, surround yourself around the people who are in sports. If you wanna be in an academics and be super smart, that's who you should surround yourself. If you wanna be in an anime club, I wonder, y'all, is it an anime club in 2024 or 2025? Let me know, like, is high schools have an anime clubs? Cause I don't think they had that back in the day. Oh my gosh, I'm sounding so freaking old, y'all. It's not that serious. But just keep in mind when it comes to making your friends that whatever they're doing, even if it's like, okay, cool. I'm just gonna give you an example. If you're high school friends are drinking alcohol, right? They're underage drinking. You are going to eventually, even though you're so against it, eventually, if they keep doing it around you, whatever, whatever, it's all you hang around. You don't have other group friends to hang around with. Eventually, you're going to get peer pressured to or talked into or convinced to, whatever words you wanna use, to start drinking too and consuming alcohol at a very young age, which, honestly, I wouldn't do that. The brain ain't even fully developed until 25, y'all. So try to lay off, you know what I'm saying? Especially in high school. School, like you shouldn't be doing it at all. I personally waited, but I know that how life goes. Some people, you know, dibble and dabble here and there, whatever situation may be, but that's something, something that you should not be condoning into. Trust and believe me when I say that because there are people who was consuming into that type of stuff. And I know these type of people who were consuming into that type of stuff in high school. And I can tell you right now where they're at, it's not, they're not really far. So yeah, just kind of be careful like what kind of decisions that you make and who you surround yourself around because that's very important in your development and growing up as a person. So I know it's kind of tough to say that like, oh, nobody wants to hear that, blah, blah, blah. But like, I'm telling you right now, like you definitely wanna be careful about who you're surrounding yourself around. So the next thing we're gonna go ahead and talk about is learning. Now this is a skill that I honestly had but didn't have in high school. Like when it comes to learning, you guys need to learn how to study. I know it's cool, whatever, or I wouldn't say cool, but people cheat. We already know, like we all have done it, people have done it, like we're not gonna act like we're all innocent here. But what I can say, when you do cheats, when you go in college, if you plan on going to college, that stuff backfires. Like it literally backfires. Like when I say that I've always been bad at math, math was a terrible topic for me. I'm really good at money though, which is very odd, but that's not the point. I was always really bad at math. When I tell you that I just skedaddled the way through high school in math, you know what I'm saying? Making it happen. Y'all, when I went to college, it was a reality waker. Like, oh my gosh, I was like, oh, I'm trash. I am trash. I had to start all the way to the very bitty bottom. Like I had to literally, the like think of the lowest of the low in college. That's where I was at. And then it cost more money. It cost more time and all of that good stuff like for you to be at the bottom. So just make sure that when you're doing your academics and stuff, try to at least for stuff that's important. So like at least for the math and the English classes for sure, like do your hardest to actually learn, study and understand the material because you're going to need it in college. Now, are you going to need it after you graduate from college? Probably not. Depends on your STEM major. I don't know. It depends on your major in general. So like, I don't know, but all I know is from high school to college, you plan on going. Yeah, let's, let's, let's lay off on the cheating and then, you know, the side eyeing and, you know, trying to figure out how we're going to get this. Cause I'm telling you right now, it's going to backfire. You're going to be real mad at yourself. You're going to be real mad. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and talk about is participate in all activities, guys. I don't know what's going on. It's like, I've been running into people and people are telling me like, Oh, you know, I don't want to do grad night. I don't want to do prom. I don't want to do senior night or whatever situation may be. I'm like, are you guys freaking kidding me? I had a blast like senior year, y'all. Senior year, I was killing it. Like senior year, I had a great time because I didn't have to really go to class because I already was chilling. I did everything I needed to do. I put in my work. So I was really chilling. I had a job. I had me some money. Y'all, it was over with like prom. I was eating for prom. I wish I could just put some photos up. I was eating for prom. I went to prom as a junior too. It was so much freaking fun. Like what? We was partying. Like those are memories I have to this day, y'all. Like for real, like I literally have it to this day. Partying outside. Like we went to prom. Like everybody was doing what they do. You know what I'm saying? You got your little boo next to you like okay like I was having so much freaking fun and then after the prom you think it ended at the prom it's the time that the parents let you stay out like no my mom was like yeah you can go ahead and go to a party like what my mom said I me I can go to a party y'all I was in there like it was a huge huge party I'm over here going to memory lane it was a huge party and all of everybody who had prom they all we all went we had prom at different places around the same time we all went to this house party it was pumping y'all like we was uh Mm, mm, I don't know what we was doing back in the day, you know, yiking, you know what I'm saying? Yike, mm, 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 uh. 
Yeah, we was dipping, we was doing all that stuff, yeah. I'm telling you, it was so much freaking fun, y'all. It was so much fun. Like, I don't understand when high schoolers tell me, oh, I don't wanna go to prom. Oh, you sleep, you're asleep. What, you get to spend your parents' money? Look all cute, you know what I'm saying? Step up, see your crush, see the people who was hating on you, step out on them, and go party? What? What? Like, how do y'all not wanna do that? And then for grad night, I know, okay, Grad night is different for each high school. My grad night was lit. Like we was having so much fun, y'all. I literally went to a freaking, what was it called? Oh my gosh. We literally went to Disneyland. And I know that sounds like, okay, you went to Disneyland for grad night. It was so fun. We went with another high school. And when I said they had different departments with different music and stuff, and we was going on the rides, it was so fun. And then they had the freaking fireworks for us. And when I say, that, ooh I, ooh, I remember I was in there dancing like, yeah, I was, I was hitting it, y'all, I was hitting it. I was so much fun. Like, you don't think certain stuff will be fun, but it's the, you know, the kids that can go, obviously, because of your grades and then because of your finances, you're able to go to these things. If you are literally able to go to these things, y'all, because that's stuff that I missed out on in middle school because, you know, my mom didn't have the finances to do it. So when I got my own job, I was like, yeah, I'm in there. And it was so freaking fun. Even in like senior night, I got my little yearbook, you know, got to see everybody. Everybody got to eat free food like come on now like it's just certain stuff where it's like even if it's not that fun or whatever situation may be like you know what i'm saying like not everything's gonna be super like ah but it's definitely worth it it's part of your memory guys like literally when i say it's part of your memory when it comes to being in high school you're gonna literally remember it forever like i don't know anybody at any age that don't remember high school like high school is the time of your life it's not your prime years no but it's just such a memorable time like your growth and where you've been like y'all I literally have a friend to this day that literally went to the same high school as me and we literally will be talking sometimes and be like, oh my gosh, you remember this person? You remember when we did this? Oh, I remember. we had certain memories that we just, we never talked about because we weren't as close in high school, y'all, but it's, it's literally insane. Like you guys have to participate in these things. I get it. It may seem like mundane or sometimes maybe boring or I heard that's boring. Like honestly, just experience it for yourself. Don't listen to what he said, she said, because sometimes people be saying certain things. They don't want you to experience it yourself or they're probably, you know, a little jealous because they cannot go because of whatever reason that it is that they cannot go. So keep that in mind when you asking the next person like, oh, how was it? How was it? Whatever, whatever. And even in just because last year sucked, don't mean that this year gonna suck. Okay, so if I was you, I definitely be participating in all of that good stuff. You already know what it is. I gotta take a water break. Mm. Woo. I don't even understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try to be keeping PG 13 with this next one. But the next topic we're gonna go ahead and talk about is relationships, right? This is coming from Big Sis. Remember, it's coming from Big Sis. I'm not I'm not talking as your friend. I'm telling you from Big Sis perspective. All right, it's about to get serious. Be careful who you decide to be with. One, oh, there's always drama, you know, breakups and cheating, whatever, whatever. I don't know why we be doing all of this in high school. Now that I think about it, but it's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, we know that you in love. It feels so real. We get it. Now, the thing I want to talk about, and I may, I, I just got to say it, is intimacy. If you don't know what intimacy is, I'm going to leave it up to you to so just go ahead and look it up because I don't want to be too inappropriate. You know, I'm still talking to minors here. So that being said, when it comes to intimacy, look it up what the word is intimacy i'm gonna need y'all to be very careful of who you to who you decide to be intimate with because we all do it eventually some people wait until college some people do it before but high school is really that time of a whole bunch of hormones going on you know we're feeling them oh he's so cute oh she's so fine the body is looking right or whatever i don't know if our body's looking right in high school who knows but all i know is you guys please wrap it up i know that parents are saying don't do it Friends are saying don't do it, kids or do it, whatever. Whoever is telling you what, I'm gonna tell you this for Big Six Tati, that if you decide to do what you decide to do, one, make sure that it's with the right person, right? You're not just one night in it, whatever. This is somebody I just talked to, whatever, whatever. I would like for you to be in a relationship with this person, actually like this person. And when you guys both decide to do this intimate thing, that you wrap it up from the male perspective and female perspective, because I would hate for teenage pregnancy because I have family members i have friends i have associates and just strangers in general that had teenage pregnancies and it's literally i would say one of the worst things that can happen to you your life will be changed forever so take it very serious take it with heed i don't care if i get in trouble for um, somebody's parents for saying that like i would rather you protect it than do it and don't say nothing and then boom you hide a belly 
and there's nothing we can do and now there's an infant here you get them you get what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so like i get that's a tough conversation to have so honestly like if you're not able to talk to your parents i will guess i will wait until you're comfortable enough to talk to your parents for the people who do have really you know understanding parents i if you're a female i would consider no pressure birth control you know what i'm saying like i personally been on birth control if it's something that you don't want to do that's fine but look into it at least it's your body you get to make it i mean obviously you get to make your own choice granted you're still a minor <laughs> so um i don't know how much of a choice you'll be able to make unless you're 18 and you're watching this so i personally got on birth control myself at 18 years old because that's something that i wanted to do for myself i did not want to have children so early and thank goodness i did it because who knows where i would be with the past that i had not like that not like that but just like the history that has happened like the birth control literally saved me on top of using protection as well like don't let nobody be like oh it don't fit that's a lie it's a lie oh i'm allergic to it it's a lie it's a lie there's there's not latex you know what i'm saying like there's a whole bunch of different solutions like all i gotta say is at your age we know the hormones are flowing we know that eventually it's going to happen hey wait for marriage if you can they hey. but if you are doing that i just really would just advise you to be careful who you're doing it with you know what i'm saying don't be out here doing it all in the public and rumors are being spread about you because people do that people talk y'all like just i'm telling you be very careful because there was rumors in high school oh this person messed with this person behind the bleach how do they know that if there was nobody there at 7 p.m at night how do they know that oh I, nobody ever said oh i saw they didn't see nothing it was told by whoever it was you know what i'm saying so be careful who you're doing whatever you're doing with make sure that you are feeling very confident about it because if it gets spread around like i was confident about my situation which we're not going to get into that that's not what we're talking about but if it got spread around it is what it is you know what i'm saying like I knew I made a good choice about who it was with and whatever situation may be, but I just need you guys to be very careful. Like it's your body. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like they're STIs, they're STDs. Um, there's some that's curable and there's some that's not. And you will be stuck with it forever being uncareful. You know what I'm saying? So just, and we just don't know. Some people are just doing things outside of high school and with grown people. You just don't want to do that, y'all. I'm telling you right now, just do me and yourself a favor look into protection options. And if you are comfortable enough, please talk to your parents about it. If you have older siblings and you're not comfortable to talk to your parents about it, talk to your siblings about it, talk to your older cousin, auntie, somebody. It's like talk to some, even if you have to, honestly, if anything, go to a counselor and that's an option too. If you think that your parents are just gonna overreact to what a situation would be. I know that there's different culture difference and everything like that as well. I don't know, but what I do know is just talk to any adult that you can, maybe even a teacher that you're cool with and try to look at different options because I'm guaranteed you they will be very happy that you're coming to them about it instead of coming about to them about you have something or you're carrying something, you get what I'm saying? So yeah, that was kind of deep, but on to the next topic. <laughs> so I also did ask a tip from my mom and it, I think it's a great tip guys, which is stay in school, stay in school. Oh my gosh, there's so many people that I know that did not graduate. I wouldn't say so many people, but there are a few people who did not graduate high school. And it's kind of sad, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's definitely doable, but once you let life happen and let life get to you, then it's kind of hard for you to focus on high school. So just be a kid, y'all, like be a kid, be in high school, like enjoy your life and just stay in school no matter what you do. Make sure you stay in school. Make sure you're in your classes doing what you gotta do. Still have fun, it's a fun place still have fun but just make sure you're getting your academics done because there are people who just have fun and that's it that's all they're doing is literally having fun all day every day and they're not getting their work done we always have that person in class you guys know who it is there's somebody in that class goofing off not getting their homework done trying to be the cool kid trying to be the goofy kid whatever whatever like it's cool to be goofy but you're gonna be goofy and smart. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy because even though we're talking about high school and college for me, people would not guess how smart I was. Like, I swear I would be the person loud, asking questions. Well, I don't get it. Well, tell me again, whatever. But I was, I was coming out with A's. What? You know what I'm saying? Like people, I look the way I look. I'm having fun, great, like loud personality. You wouldn't think that I would be so smart apparently because I guess smart people are quiet. Like, no, like what? Just because I got a fat mouth don't mean that I don't know how to be smart too. Because I don't think you guys understand like life happens after school. And that actually came from my brother, my little brother. He, I asked him if he had any tips for anybody who's in high school. And he literally said like life hits after your high school. Like high school, it was fun. You ain't got no worries. He said he ain't had no worries. He didn't have no bills. He didn't have to worry about being great grown and insurance or whatever situation may be and now it's like as soon as he graduated high school or finished high school or and now that high school is over 
over with. He's like, I don't even smile anymore, which that's kind of sad. Not saying that you can't smile after high school. That's not what I'm saying. The point is, it's like after high school, that's when real life really hits. So this is like pre-life. So enjoy it. Have fun. Be smart. Like get into whatever you want to get into. You know what I'm saying? Just be smart. Be safe. Like whatever situation may be. You don't want to be in anything crazy. Don't do no. Can I say it? <laughs> I hope so. Don't do nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, just be on top of your game. Be smart. And I think that's actually very great. A great tip for my brother as well to make sure that we are enjoying high school and to make sure that you stay in school and actually graduate. And people are saying that. Like, people will say that for the people who did graduate and for pretty, and for the people who did not graduate because I'm telling you, after high school, um, yeah, it's a whole it's a whole other game ball, y'all. It's a whole other game ball. And last but not least, we do have our last tip, which is adults 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 i know you guys are not gonna like this tip so that's why i saved it for last so if you have not clicked off by now i'm gonna go ahead and give it to you y'all listen to the adults and it, it, uh, i get it it's so hard to listen to the adults y'all everything that adults majority of the things but i'm gonna go ahead and just say everything for the plot everything an adult tells you like a parent tells you or a sister or somebody that is grown tells you it'd be so true and i know when you're younger you do not process that you don't you'll be like oh whatever like so actually i learned in psychology i don't know if you guys want to get into that because you're still young anyways that being said when in college i literally learned that growing up we look at our parents like only like parents we don't identify them as oh you know mom auntie you know a person like actual individual person so growing up we kind of have a hard thing realizing that our parents literally were where we are. And not until you're probably in your 20s, you're not gonna really get it. So this may bypass your brain or whatever, but literally your parents is learning and all of that good stuff. And they know they've been through it. You think you slick on all this extra stuff, like your parents know they've been there, literally been there. So if they're telling you something, obviously, you know, we all take everything with a grain of salt if it's something freaking crazy. But if your parents are literally putting you on game, trying to tell you something like, oh, this person ain't for you, whoop, whoop. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's all true. It's literally true. Just feel what you feel. I always say, feel what you feel because your feelings are valid. You get me? But at the same time, just know whatever they're saying is true. Like, if if Bob is over there messing around with Tiffany and, you know, he gonna keep doing it, you gonna keep taking him back, whatever, whatever the just situation may be, like, your parents are telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? So, like, at the end of the day, I get it. We don't like to listen to our parents. We don't like to listen to adults when they tell us do whatever, whatever. But honestly, it's the, it's the God-given truth. And I would try to at least take the advice, listen to it. I'm not saying you're gonna move around and be this perfect person. We're all human beings. We're all learning lessons, but just make sure that you understand that what they're saying is most likely true. And you're gonna probably have to learn the easy way or the hard way. I'm the type of person who likes to learn the easy way, but sometimes I have learned the hard way. Like seriously, there's some things even to this day, I know no matter what nobody said to me, I still had to learn the hard way. So yeah, I hope this video helped with any tips from the big sister. I know that I got a little, you know, deep and then we was having fun. But these are my tips. You know, I actually graduated 10 years ago, which is freaking insane. And I'm a little upset because where is my high school reunion? Like, come on, gradu 2014 graduating year. Like that's freaking insane, y'all. Like I've been out of high school for 10 years and I have such a kid mindset still. Anyways, if you guys like this video, I do plan on making one for a college version. If you guys like it or I could do a part two for high school, let me know, comment down below, talk to me, talk to me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget my name is Tatiana Edgeworth. If you have not subscribed by now, please do it right now. Did you guys do it? Okay, I need more subscribers. I need more likes, need more engagement. Your girl's trying to be somebody. And again, my name is Tatiana Edgeworth. Don't forget to like and subscribe to your girl's channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment your favorite thing down below. And I can't wait to see you guys next time, okay? Bye.